Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for joining me today. It feels like it's been forever since I filmed a normal like just sit down video in my spot here with my stuff and honestly it kind of has been forever. I think the last one I did was a stitch fix that I haven't had the chance to post yet. Um, that one I had some issues with the footage and so I need to go back and see like what is salvageable and I have some ideas for how I can potentially make that work and still put that stitch fix out. However, it definitely um, threw a loop in my scheduling schedule, scheduling schedule, posting schedule. Anyways, and then in December, I thought I was going to try and do a vlogmas, which I definitely did try to do a vlogmas, but we will get back to that here in just a minute. So yeah, my point is it's been forever since I just sat down and talked with you guys and I'm really excited to be back doing this. I really enjoy like filming all those other videos, but I've just felt kind of adrift like with my posting and everything. So I am very ready to get back to kind of a more normal situation. I'm planning on doing another video for that, talking about like my future going forward into 2022. So today's video is looking back at 2021. I want to talk a little bit about Christmas, about Vlogmas, and then just 2021 as a whole, and kind of just talk about how I feel about everything. Okay, I think we should start by talking about what I got for Christmas. I got some wonderful gifts from my friends and family, and I am not going to touch on every single thing. Um, I just feel like that's a little bit too much just to like sit down and go over like what I got for Christmas. I don't know. I have mixed feelings about those kinds of videos, but there were a few things I thought it would be fun to share. So I have a couple things set next to me on the window ledge here. Um, the first thing is my new 32 ounce mug, which has my initials. It's like the monogram, so it's MNB. Um, and I just love the colors and it's insulated. My mom got this for me and she got one for James as well. His also has his monogrammed initials and it's like a black dark teal. They're super nice cups. They're from this uh, Simply Modern company and I love that they're insulated. I think mine still has a teeny bit of ice from last night and it's like midday. So I'm very impressed with these so far. I really love them a lot. Um, we also got ornaments from both of our families. Let me show you here. I thought it was so sweet that James's mom sent us ornaments. Um, we didn't see them this year, but it was so nice that she sent us these and she also sent James some other stuff. So this is his little nutcracker ornament and she even wrote on the bottom, James 2021 from mom and Todd. That's his stepdad. And then um, mine, it's got this cute little snowman. I just thought that was super cute and it all super cute super cute sweet i think i was trying to say a combination um and it also says megan 2021 from amy and todd so i just thought that was super sweet and then my mom did ornaments for us as well and they're so stinking cute um they go together she painted them this is something she's kind of started doing in the last few years is like painting or making ornaments for us and so it's a little car and a trailer and I tried to turn the lights on but I don't know if you can see that they light up but I thought those were super cute as well and they also say Megan and James 2021 so I really love getting ornaments from family I just think it's so sweet to have those memories and I really appreciated it another thing that my mom got me was a couple books um she got me three and the first one is Wildflower Hill by Kimberly Freeman. The next one is The Winter Sea by Susanna Kersley. And the last one is um, The Book of Lost Friends by Lisa Wingate. Wingate? Wingate? Wingate. So I am super excited to read all three of these. My mom said she has also read them and that they're really good. And based on the descriptions, they all just sound fantastic. I also wanted to share with you this uh, bookmark that my secret Santa from work got me. Since I got books for Christmas, I thought it would be perfect to also share this. Um, my secret Santa got me a couple things. She did a wonderful job, but this was one of them, and it's a handcrafted bookmark. 
So the feather goes inside the book and then this part hangs out over the top. It's got this cute little butterfly with some purple crystals and a daisy inside, which purple and daisies are my favorite. So I just thought that was so pretty. And seeing as I got some cool books, they go perfectly together. That is definitely my kind of Christmas gift right there. So when we got the ornaments from James's mom, there was some other stuff that she had sent him and it was all like personal mementos. So like this picture with these adorable pictures in them. And it was so awesome to get these because at the same time that he was opening this, I was opening a gift from my mom. Oh, and to be clear, that wasn't the only picture in the box, that was just the one I grabbed. She had sent him a whole box of mementos. It was so cool. So my mom had also been thinking on the sentimental side, and she did these photo albums for each of us kids. And I can't even imagine how much time it must have taken her to put these together. And I just love them so much. Like, when I opened it, I kind of started crying because just having all these memories, like, printed out and put right together like this were just too sweet. Like, when my siblings were little and babies, oh my gosh. And so, she, we each got two of these photo albums. And, like, this one, a picture of my grandpa holding me as a baby, my mom and me as a young, ba like, toddler me as a toddler, like, getting these pictures was so, so amazing. I love it. And now we also have photos from when James was young, and we really didn't have very many of those, so that was such a meaningful gift. I, I loved it. Um, a couple other things that I got for Christmas. James got me Catan, Catan, Settlers of Catan, I feel like is how my family always called it, though they did change the name, so it was just Catan, Catan. Everybody says it differently. Um, I've always loved this board game, and it's one that I've always wanted to play with James, but he's never been a huge fan, and he said part of the gift was that he was actually going to play it with me. He also got me a humidifier, which some of you may think sounds like a not great gift, but it was fantastic for me. I have been wanting one forever for like putting on at night when we sleep and I love it. And then he also got me a new standing tripod for the camera. So I had kind of this uh, jinky little setup for my camera to go on before and now it is on a full tripod and I am so excited about it. I just keep like looking at it every day because I love it so much. <laughs> so. Those were some of my Christmas gifts. I really enjoyed everything. We had such a great day um, with my family. It was great. It was really fun. So the next thing I think we should talk about is 2021, like kind of as a whole, and then going into Vlogmas. So going into 2021, I kind of feel like my beginning of 2021 was similar to my beginning of 2020. And that is I had all these like high aspirations that got smushed. You know, in 2020, I had like a really great couple months, January, February, March, and then, you know, the vid. <laughs> I was going to say the C word, and then I was like, wait, no, so then I was going to say the V word, and then I was like, that seems weird, and yeah. Y'all know what I'm talking about. So anyways, 2021, if you haven't watched my videos about it, I had kind of a similar tragic thing happened and that was dislocating my knee like three days into January of 2021. I had so many aspirations for 2021 and having your kneecap go out of place for several minutes, um, it's not fun and it's painful and it is not good for your leg, you know, so I had to do like a couple months of physical therapy. I did lose some weight at the beginning of the year, but it was really hard for me to like, I couldn't exercise too much because I had to, you know, be careful with my knee and I had all these issues. And then I actually dislocated it again in August. So, um, you know, eight months apart, twice in the same year, kneecap, out of socket. It's not a fun thing. I am currently living my life in fear 
of dislocating it again, like every single day. Every time I step outside, like on some ice, I'm like going through in my head, like, don't fall, don't fall. And then I'm like picturing it, like falling, kneecap out, screaming, do I have my phone to call somebody for help? Who is around? Like, what if it happens like in the grocery store parking lot or like when I'm leaving work, you know, like I, so that's a little bit of PTSD I need to work on. So 2021 just was kind of a weird year. You know, it kind of felt like the hangover after 2020 of like 2020 was this crazy year and then you have like this hangover and you're realizing like it's not getting better. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I'm sure most of you know like exactly what I'm talking about. So I'm not going to go into that too much more. But essentially, just all of it combined and then my knee incident definitely... I would say the biggest ways those affected me was weight loss and nutrition, both things that I had really wanted to hit more in stride in 2021. Um, you know, like exercising more, eating healthier. It's hard when you feel like your body isn't on the same page. On top of that, while working and commuting full time, I was also in school. So that was a really exciting in September. Of 2021 I completed my bachelor's degree in it's a BS in business specializing in human resources so that was back in September and that was just such a an amazing feeling I can't even describe it like just a couple days ago I looked at James and was like it was September that I finish school and now it's December and it's weird to realize like I don't have to go back you know I have been in and out of school since January of 2017 you know like on breaks and then back in and then like on a break and then back in you know summer off back in back and forth but in 2021 I didn't take summer off I just went straight so I took the summer of 2020 off and then I started back to school in the fall and then I went from September to the next September, just straight working full-time, school full-time, minus the breaks between quarters, but it's done. It was so worth it to do the summer quarter and finish in September instead of having the summer off and then still having a quarter left, meaning I would have only just finished. So that was really exciting. Even though 2021, I didn't get all of my goals accomplished, finishing that Finishing my degree was just such a highlight. It it takes the cake. It was really the best. And, you know, during my last quarter of school, we moved. So in August, we moved, and that was when I dislocated my knee for the second time. And then I was finishing up my degree, and 2021 was really just such a crazy year, I feel like. I started trying to do my videos of decorating this house, and that's been super fun. And I have so many more plans still for like doing things and decorating and filming and I'm just so excited for it all. When it comes to my channel, I definitely feel like 2021 had its ups and downs. At the beginning of the year, I feel like I was like just kind of steady and then I kind of had a peak in like May. But then going into my last quarter, I really kind of started to downslide. Downslide? and like not post as much and it's just because I had so much going on in life. It is difficult to work 40 hours, commute um, 8 to 10 hours, so gone 50 plus hours and also be in school and also do YouTube and also move and have the holidays and all those things. So there's never been any part of me that hasn't wanted to continue with my YouTube channel, but it definitely, I really tried not to beat myself up too much for not doing fantastic. So I am really sorry that I haven't been fantastic, but I hope you understand like where I've been coming from with it all. And so that all leads up to December, which is Vlogmas. So for December, I got this crazy idea in my head that I wanted to try to do Vlogmas. And I had it in my head that like, even if I only did two to three videos a week, that would still be like 
8 to 10 to 12 videos in like 25 days, which would be way more than I've ever done before. And I was like, you know, this will be good. This will be really good. Well, it didn't happen. I did a total of five videos, I think. I was going to go back and look at the ones I did really quick. So on November 28th, I posted my living room makeover video. So if you haven't checked that out yet, I think it turned out fantastic of how I decorated the living room. So I highly recommend you check that out. But then on December 1st, I posted my first Vlogmas. It's Christmas time and my first time trying Vlogmas. And I was really happy to get that out on December 1st. I tried so hard to like make sure like I'm going to get my first Vlogmas out on December 1st. It's going to go great, right? Well, my second Vlogmas I got out on the 4th. And then I decided to do a Vlogmas intro, which most people do like right away, but I didn't. <laughs> um, and that one I got out on the 5th. And then I did two more. I did a Sunday day in my life on the 12th and come to where my house plants with me out on the 19th. Those were filmed on different days than they all came out, but that was when I posted them. I had a lot of fun filming all of these. I really enjoyed like thinking about the different ideas to post and trying to get them out on a schedule, but I, I definitely found that it was a lot harder to get everything out while planning for the holidays with my commute and driving in the snow and you know I know there are people out there that probably work a lot harder than me they probably have like a 40-hour job and a like a part-time job and a side hustle but personally it was just a lot not that really my life's gonna change anytime soon but I just don't think December was the best time for me to be getting into this, if you know what I mean. You know, and I really enjoyed all that, but it was just a lot. So I'm trying to give myself a break with that, even though I was really wishing that I had done a few more videos. I had actually tried to film a couple more that I didn't end up finishing, and then there was another one that I had an idea for that I didn't do. So it definitely had like my creative juices flowing in my brain. It just didn't quite... Uh, meet idea to outcome if that makes sense <laughs> so overall um i enjoyed the idea of vlogmas i enjoyed the i really had a lot of fun making my intro and i feel like maybe next year i'll be able to do it better you know i definitely had a lot of fun with it i have so many aspirations for 2022 you know we were thrown a curveball with 2020 2021 nobody knew what to expect but i'm ready for 2022. i normally don't make resolutions as much as just kind of reaffirm my personal goals that i always have which are to be fit happy and adventurous and i am definitely excited for that i am excited to go into 2022 and I'm excited for what the future holds. I am going to be doing a video about my kind of plans for 2022 and maybe a little bit of goal setting. So keep your eye out for that. And otherwise, I think that's all I have for you guys today. So thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you so much for hanging out. I so appreciate you all. I hope you all had a Merry Christmas or Happy Holidays, whatever it is that you celebrate. I hope you have a wonderful New Year's Eve and let's kick off 2022 with a bang. I'll see you guys all again soon. Bye. I want to be there and baby dance the night away. I let my head down if I want. Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time. Show you